Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all you need. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and Apple for 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. Once again, we have author and health expert Stacey Chalemi. Coming back here on the Mike Widener Show, she's the author of her latest book, The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing a Body. We uh, talked about uh, hair loss. We also talked about some other things as well, too, and involving um, it, just, uh, just what it covers well, too. And if you want to get information about Stacey, you can go back to our previous podcast. But today, we're here to talk about the immune system and why it's important to have an immune system and how it relates to hair loss as well, too, during this pandemic. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from our beautiful studios in the East Coast, ladies and gentlemen, author and health expert, Stacey Chlemmy. Stacey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us once again. Hi, how are you doing? It's great to be here. Oh, it's great to have you back as well, too. So you, you have the book called The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing a Body. And of course, we talked about your background and everything else, too. And let's talk about immunity and the immune system and why is it important to have such an immune system during this time of pandemic? You know, during this time, you know, so much is going on. You know, a lot of people are going through stress. There's, you know, you need to have a lot of energy. You know, people are losing their jobs. There's just like so much going on. People are worried about their finances and the future. And you really have to be strong. You know, stress itself is actually a main um, factor of, you know, having a, a low immune system. And when you have a low immune system, you make yourself more susceptible to illnesses around you. And that's why sometimes, you know, you see people, they get sick a lot, you know, and a lot of times if you you hear them talk they're very stressed out a lot of people do get affected by stress they get affected um you know it affects their immune system and it brings on a lot of illnesses sometimes you know you, you see people they have one illness it goes away and then all of a sudden a week or two later you're talking to them on the phone and now they have something else because your your body is getting worn down and you have to really always build your immune system up and keep it strong so you put a wall around yourself from all those different illnesses that you know are here to and try to invade us uh -huh. and what type of stresses um, are there that affect the body you know, any, any type of stress, you know, can affect the body. You know, if you are if you have a previous condition, let's say, you know, that wears down your body. That can wear down your immune system itself. You know, if you're going through anything emotionally, you're, you know, uh, something that affects your, your, um, your mentality, that could actually bring down your uh, immune system as well. There's so many factors and so many different things that could wear down the immune system m mentally and, and physically. Physically, you have to keep yourself strong because when you keep yourself strong and you keep yourself in intact, you can actually, you know, keep yourself healthy overall and from different illnesses, you know, especially now with the virus, you know, it's here, you know, you don't want to make yourself susceptible to it. You want to keep yourself as strong as possible. You want to keep your immune system up because you want to try to fight against anything that happens to you. Uh -huh. and, and also, what are some of the... Um... The, the healing um, that, that comes with uh, immunity. It's like, what, what's the best to take in terms of building up your immunity and fighting off the stress? You know, I, I like to take zinc. I take zinc every day. Um, and I, I think vitamin C is very good also. I actually, I have a little um, concoction that I make and it's, it has zinc, it has vitamin C powder, and it has, um, it's, a, it's a, a liquid and it has all different healthy fats in it. And, it, you know, healthy fats actually boost the immune system as well. And, um, I put them all together in a little in a, in a little water, and I drink it down. And that's one thing that can you know it helps when you do it on a consistent basis. It could help 
build your immune system up. You know, some people don't like taking pills, you know, and that's, you know, something like that would be very good for somebody. You know, if, you know, also diet too. People have to, you know, eat healthier. Maybe, you know, try to stay and focus, you know, towards vegetables and, you know, the plant-based foods. Also, you know, um, you know, spinach and broccoli, all those type of things are really good for you. Citrus foods, you know, fruits are very good for you. Like um, if you think about, um, you know, anything like grapefruit, oranges, tangerines, you know, all those types of fruits are, are very good because they have C, they have vitamin C in them. Also, you could also, um, you, you could have... Um, let me see. I'm trying to think of all different things. Red peppers. A lot of people don't realize, but red peppers can help, you know, it has vitamin C in it. It can help boost the immune system. It's very good for you. And, you know, a little caffeine is good for you because it, it, it energizes you. It boosts you up. And it also, it has different things in it that can help build the immune system up as well. Caffeine is actually, you know, as long as you don't take too much, it's good for you. Mm -hmm. And anything that is also like um, immune for your immune system, anything that is uh, you want to keep your inflammation down. That's one other thing that can actually break the uh, immune system down too. And, and talking about inflammation, uh, what do you mean by that? Maybe a little more detail. Okay, you know, like a lot of people, you know, we tend to eat a lot of carbs. Carbs actually, you know, convert to sugar and actually make us very bloated. And you get a lot of inflammation from that. So when, you're, when your body is um, inflammated and it has, it has a lot of inflammation, that it actually weakens the body. Your body has to work harder to break all these, these, um, these this, this water-based, you know, everything that's in the body. Um, and, and, it, and it breaks down the immune system. Inflammation is, is very bad for your body. So you really want to, you know, maybe de you know, make sure you're hydrated, drink a lot of water, um, you know, try to stay away from sugar if you can. Exercising is really good. You know, you don't want to, if you see yourself, you know, you look, you feel, you know, that you have inflammation, you know, different what there's different ways that you could, you know, um, different things you can do to actually, you know, help your body not be uh, inflamed. Um, and Alice, you, you talked about red peppers as being um, essential to vitamin C. How does that compare to the green peppers, the yellow peppers, and the other peppers that are out there? Well, they say, you know, when I when I do research, at, you know, they they usually gear towards the red peppers. They that people, you know, all peppers are good for you, but you know, like if you could add a few extra red peppers, it wouldn't hurt because they they do have a lot of nutrients in them. It's a little bit different than the other peppers, you know, and it and it helps a lot with the immune system as well. Um, and and, and also, how about um, and also how about some of the other foods as well too to help with the immune system and. What other foods that you want everyone to stay away from? You know, like I was saying before, we, we really, have, people love carbs. You know, I, I was always, I, I try now to like watch how much carbs I intake and I try not to stay away from, I try to stay away from But pasta, you know, converts to sugar and that can make you very inflamed. You ever notice like if you have a, a you know, pasta on a Sunday right afterwards, you feel, you feel really bloated and you, you sit down and you want to just go to sleep or you might see a couple of your relatives falling asleep on the couch. It's because the, it's, you know, pasta turns to sugar, it gets stored in your body your body's trying to break everything down and it also it hurts your immune system as well rice you know rice is also full of carbs um, all those chips we eat at night that we tend to like to munch on you know these are all things that have high levels of carbohydrates in them and then sometimes you don't even realize it but if you turn some of the vitamins we take too you know some of them you know like the the gummy ones you know can, can be high in carbs also so you have to be careful as well um, and, and it's also tied to hair loss as well, too. We'll talk about it in just a minute. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com 
You can also check out The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page, facebook.com slash themikewidenershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, over 25 podcast platforms. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author and health expert Stacey Chalemi of The Complete Herbal Guide here on the Mike Widener Show. And last time we talked about hair loss. And this is also tied in to immunity as well, too. And tell us how those two come together. You know, stress uh, tends to bring on hair loss. A lot of people will notice that they start to lose their hair when they're under a lot of stress. And, you know, stress also plays like we just have been talking about. Stress can actually hurt your immune system as well. And that's one of the things that, you know, you start to see. People start to see a little bit of hair loss when they're very stressed out. You know, your your um, testosterone, both men and women have testosterone. Um, 10% of that is DHT. And the DHT is actually um, that is the main component that causes the hair loss. It latches on to your hair follicles on your scalp and it actually makes them close and it makes it very hard for new hair, new hair growth and it can help makes your hair weaken and fall out. So, you know, you, when you start seeing that, there's two factors. One, you need to start working on decreasing your stress. And then two, you know, there's, there's things like, there's a company called Hair Restoration Laboratories. They have actually a hair shampoo and a hair, um, a hair conditioner, and it's all natural supplements that could actually help block that DHT while you're going through your stress. And it actually could help, you know, bring in hair growth and it could, help, it could you know, it's science-based where it blocks the blocks the uh, DHT. I love it so much because it has, it's all naturally based. It has, you know, like green extract, um, biotin. It has, you know, it has caffeine in it, which, you know, and it, these things can actually help with stress. But you also have to work on make, working on things to decrease your stress because stress could cause a lot of problems in your body. And what are some of the ways to decrease stress in your Extra- in- Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I I was asking is what are some of the ways to decrease stress um, in, in your opinion? You know, I think I think exercise is great. I think, you know, you could you don't have to do anything vigorous. You can go outside, take a nice walk, go on the treadmill. If you have an exercise bike, go on the exercise bike or just take a walk around your neighborhood. And that, you know, not only is it good for your health and it can bring your immune system up, but it also can decrease your your stress as well. You know, exercise and even just 10 or 15 minutes a day can help with a lot of stuff. You have to work on your stress because stress can bring on so many problems, both mental mentally and physically, and it can bring on a lot of illness as well. Um, and you also talk about hair restoration as well, too, and where can we find it? There, they have a, a website, and it's uh, Hair Restorations. Uh, you can just type in Hair Restoration Laboratory, and it comes on. Um, and uh, you can even go on my website on the Complete Herbal Guide. And uh, it's we have their products on our, our homepage because we were so impressed with all this stuff that you know it's made of and how well it works. That is amazing as well, too. And we'll talk about what's coming up as well, too, for Stacey Chalemi. But first, listen to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by SoundEquip Studios. Visit online at soundequipstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. SoundEquip Studios is the answer. SoundEquip Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at soundequipstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with author and health expert Stacey Chalemi here on the Mike Widener Show. He's the author of The Complete Herbal Guide, A Natural Approach to Healing the Body. And what's been the latest with you and what is coming up uh, in your next book or your next project? And what can you expect from you in 2020 and beyond? 
You know, I've been working on doing a lot of public speaking right now and making a lot of videos. A lot of people right now, you know, they read my articles, but they want me to, you know, talk about different things on, on YouTube. So I've been working on trying to make a lot of different videos to talk about a lot of different conditions that people go through on a daily basis. And um, right now I'm working on, you know, d making videos and, you know, trying to do public speaking and, um, you know, adding new content to the website. So these are my three main factors that I've been focusing on right now for 2020. Uh -huh. and, and what's some of the new content that you uh, have on the website and what can we expect? You know, I, just like we were talking about, you know, stress, anxiety, and the immune system has been a big factor. So many people are very interested on how they can protect their immune system. And this has been a, a very popular topic. And people want to know how could, they could cope with COVID, um, you know, and, and, the, and the virus. They, they, uh, they have been going through a lot, people, you know, and it's very scary. And, it, you know, there's, they don't know when it's going to actually end. We hope it ends soon. But, you know, they think it might be a second ac epidemic that might be coming on so we have to protect ourselves we have to make sure that we're you know we're strong and that we know how to you know handle everything and sometimes if we we learn how to handle things and we face the problems before they occur we can prepare ourselves so we don't get so stressed out and we have a lot of articles on our website to help people like that and what about people that are in isolation what's the best advice you can give to someone uh in isolation especially when you talk about the stress the anxiety and yes what what, what's the best advice you can give to anyone who is in isolation or if they're quarantined with their loved ones? You know, I, I think the best thing right now is, is to find things that you really interest you and, and focus on doing things that make you feel good. Some people like to cook. Some people like to create things, you know, do things that make you happy. If you, you can go in your backyard or if you can go take a, a little walk around the block, try to get out of the house. Try to, you know, give yourself some fresh air. Look at, you know, look at the trees and the grass and, and just, you know, you have to get out somewhat. If you, you know, if you're not comfortable going to stores and you're scared, you know, right Right now because some people are still very scared to leave their own home just try to get outside and, and just walk around you know you put your mask on to protect you you have social distancing but try to ch get some fresh air I think it's very important you know just taking the garbage out and, and you know breathing in some fresh air you know can make you feel better it's you know it's different when you isolate yourself in a house you can get very depressed and I've heard a lot of people tell me that they've been you know feeling very depressed being isolated in their home and when you see that happening you have to take a step back and 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 try to do things that make you feel good mm -hmm. and of course taking out the garbage just don't breathe in the garbage i'll tell you exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what are some of the things you want to add in for our listeners as well too because we'd like to have you back and talk about some other things what are some of the things you would like to uh, add on as well you know, I, I really want people to really think about like meditation and doing thing and doing stretching. And one thing, you know, when people sit down on the couch too much and they lay around, you, they start to gain weight and that's not healthy for you. That could bring a lot of illness. You know, also, you know, when you're not moving around and you're not stretching your body and circulating your the blood in your body, you tend to get a lot of joint pain and a lot of, lot of pain throughout your body. You don't want to see that happen. And so keep moving around, exercise, do stuff that you can do. And if you have, you know, aches and pains in your body, many people do, you do the things you can do. You know, you don't have to be Superman. If, if your arms hurt you or if you have pain in certain areas of your body, do other things, you know, but get some exercise. Exercise is important. Mm -hmm. and, and that's very important as well, too. And is there anything else you want to add before we go here? We'd love to have you back on 2020 talking about some other things. And there's something I'm I can't remember what I'm going to talk about, but we'll do that for next time. It's, oh. Oh, memory. We were talking about, we wanted to talk about memory or not. Yes, memory is so important. I'd love to talk to you on your next show if we can go over some stuff and, you know, tell people about memory and, and help them with that because we know we all suffer from it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll never have to remember on that one. So once again, yeah. <laughs> Hey, thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Always do. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase the books, including your latest, The Complete Herbal Guide? So you can go on the completeherbalguide.com. Um, it's, it's very easy to remember. It's just The Complete Herbal Guide. 
com, and you go on there. We have thousands of articles about every condition you can think of. We have experts on there that share new information every day. And you can find my books on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles. We have books on my website, and even my website, stacychilemi.com. We have all my books on that website, so you can go on that too if you'd like. And um, you know, people can contact me on the completeherbalguide.com. You know, just go into the contact page. You know, shoot me out an email, and I will respond to you. I love getting emails from people. I love hearing people's thoughts and any suggestions people have because I really base that that website to help others. So I really want to know what people really want to hear and what they need so I could provide them with that. That is fantastic. Once again, Stacey, a big thank you for your time. You are is fantastic. Looking forward to hearing soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Definitely have back on in 2020 and beyond. And we'll talk about memory loss. And hopefully we can remember. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much for having me.